the Yankees now have James Paxton, a true at least number two starter to go along with Luis Severino in a rotation that helped the Yankees basically win 100 games last year. What do they do from here? Well, they're going to continue targeting starting pitching. There's Jay Happ on the market. There's Patrick Corbin on the market. There's a bunch of arms available through the trade scenarios. I think right now it looks more and more likely that a Jay Happ could be you know, a realistic option over Corbin, considering his price tag, considering that the $206 million luxury tax threshold is something that the Yankees would still really like to stay under, unless they're going to completely blow past it for a Manny Machado or a Bryce Harper. Happ's price tag, his you know, quality that he brings, really, I think, could be the next move for the Yankees, where Patrick Corbin, excellent pitcher, maybe the best on the market right now, maybe a little bit too rich for their taste. Right now, the Yankees need to figure out the starting pitching, then address the bullpen. I think that they're not jumping directly at the bullpen right now. One, because the starting pitching is the priority, but two, they have some young arms they can throw down there. Uh, Domingo Herman, they could try to make him a short relief guy. They have a Luis Sessa, someone they could try to see if he excels in short relief. They have options, fallback options, should they not sign a David Robertson or a Zach Britton or an Adam Adovino. So as it stands, the Yankees will continue chasing after that high-end pitching. They feel burned that they didn't make it happen last year, and that's the route they're going to go right now after the James Paxton trade.